guys. On this episode of Days Glory Shopworks, we're continuing with the 440 build. I think this is part five. Don't quote me on that. Um, so what we're doing this time around is we're going to disassemble one of the old heads that came off the uh, 70 uh, Imperial 440, 71. And we're going to test a valve seal cutter. So in a previous episode, I said we were going to use these comp cams uh, valve seals. These are 505-16. They need a 530-thou cutter. And that's what this will do. This is part number 4726. Now the arbor is not the exact arbor that comp sells. This is something I got my uh, best friend to machine up at uh, his work. He's a machinist by trade. And it looks like it'll fit the bill. I've never used one of these before. Um, so we're going to practice on this older head. You can see the junk and everything. And I actually need to rob, I need to rob a couple of valves out of it anyway. One valve on one of the heads I'm going to use is actually the, the valve tip is, it looks like it's ground down a little bit. So I'm not sure what happened there, but we're not going to use it. Um, we'll replace it with one of these. I'll clean it all up and everything. But uh, long story short, I'm going to strip two uh, valves out here and intake and exhaust. And then we're going to set up the cutter and see if it does what it's supposed to do. Here goes. Alright guys, so here's my cutter, this is the arbor for it, uh, homemade by my friend Adam at Freedom Machine Corps in Grand Prairie here. Uh, we didn't have any of the arbors available uh, at any amount of time, would have been a week, week and a half away, and he whipped that up for me in about two hours. So uh, all you do is you take your cutter, slide it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of what I was using for honing oil. It's just a mix of diesel and uh, 10W30. Just to give it a little lubrication for cutting. I set it on low speed. And that's it. You can hear a little bit of a chatter when it gets down to the edge of the, uh, the height stop. And you're done. Just like that. Take it. Wipe it off. I mean, let's be honest. These are the old intake valve seals. They're huge and they won't fit in the middle of most uh, single with dampener or dual valve seals. These are the exhaust valve umbrellas. At least, at least these guys clip down. But these exhaust style umbrellas, they just kind of sit there and wave around. Tell me that does anything. But Here's our comp cams positive locking valve seal. And
So that's it right there. Now I'm not pushing it down the rest of the way because these aren't the heads I'm using these seals on. I don't want to damage the seal by having to pull it back off again. But it goes on nice and firm. Slide it down till the bottom's out. And boom check done. You've got good usable valve seals and you're rocking and rolling. And that's good oil control. Well, anyway, guys, that's it in a nutshell. That's uh, how to cut down your valve guide for positive locking valve seals on these older Mopar engines. Worked on Chevy Sports, Dodges, anything that ran those old, older style seals. And uh, it's a worthwhile upgrade, I'll tell you that. Now, a fella could actually, if he needed more room for lift, if he had, uh, you know, if your coil springs had more spacing, you could get more lift. So I would just simply cut this off and then regrind it again for the uh, positive locking valve seal again. Boom, check, done. They've also got cutters for doing the spring pockets and you name it. Um, but we're not worried about that right now. We're only going about 480 lift um, intake and exhaust. So that'll more than ha that'll have plenty of room for us. Uh, next up, we're going to be checking our cylinder head uh, for warpage and checking the valve seats, checking everything over basically, cleaning the surfaces, that kind of jazz. Stay tuned for part uh, six and away we go. Thanks. <laughs>